Hello guys, it's me, Aaron. No, you don't have to call me. You can call me. You can also call me the True DBC King, but it doesn't matter if you call me. So today, I had a figure for a long time since when since we came out. I think March. Today, I'm going to review the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Time Force Red Ranger. You guys voted for this on my Instagram from my Instagram at Bokusatsu. I'll put a link in the description. You guys voted for this, and this guy won for next review for for figure wise for my figure for a figure review. So here we are. Next figure, oh, I have I think I have since March, but we'll say this: having him, there are a few problems with my copy. It's just my copy, no one else's. Just, just this is my copy of it. Okay, I need to stop saying that word again, but you know what I mean. So first off, look at this. Look, look, hold on, I'll put the light on. Look at this. There's some silver right there, and the morph is not fully painted. Now, I don't know what, I don't know what happened there with Hasbro doing that, but there are a lot of, uh, battle, there are a lot of uncolored parts in my figure. And also, I know that this mold is, uh, different, because it's not the same mold as everyone else's. But when I first had it, the guy looked pretty much uh well skinny. He looked somewhat skinny. He so yeah, this that it's like a bit different mold. So what? So what? So he does. Does he look like the actual one from the show? Yeah, he looks just like Wes from the show. Or if you watch the Sentai version, Mirror Sentai Time Ranger. He looks just like Tatia. Think think I say it, bro. I've been watching. I watched Time Ranger. So this that. He looks just like the actual one from the show. The morpher is someone not painted. Not know why. Well, they don't pay a lot more for it, so what I'm saying. The belt looked the same. How's the, how's the articulation? Whoop. This is how far he, this is how far he goes. Does he stand right? Well, yeah. This is gonna be my cover, but there are a few problems which I will get into a bit. So now here we are with uh so now here we are with articulation now. Here here are his own accessories. He come with two uh he come with two chrono savers. Chrono savers. If you watch Time Force or Time Ranger, you know what these are. You come with two of them and if you put them together th this happens. That's pretty cool. He comes with this large effect which you can put on his uh sword right here. See? You put on his sword right there. He comes with his chrono chrono blaster. So oh okay. He comes with his chrono blaster, so they that's a good thing, but yeah, I'm sad that's not fully painted, but whatever. He comes with a thumbs up. Not know why, but okay. Not know why come with a thumbs up. But okay. And here's the head. Here's Wes Collins' head from Time Force. Or Jason Font, who's the actor that plays Wes. Shout out to Jason Font. So there's that. <laughs> So, on to some of side comparison. Here, here, right next to the, um, so what, Marvel Legends. Oh, good. Here, here, next to the, uh, Marvel Legends, uh, Superior Octopus. Here, here, right next to the, uh, S.A. Figuarts, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which I will do a review, which I will do a review.
on that figure. I probably I will do one on him, but I got a lot of figures to review. So overall, he's somewhat well superior octopus, somewhat a little taller because of those arms. Also the also he do look he do look a little bit more taller. So this that as well. But yeah anyway, all you know what I'm trying to say. He's pretty good, okay? He's pretty good for staying up with them, which I like. For all, for more size comparison, here it is right next to the best, best selection, SA figures coming in the build. Here it is right next to the Lightning Collection, White, White Mighty Morphin White Ranger, Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Here it is right next to the Lightning Collection, uh, SPD Red. And here you right next to the, uh, whew. Here you right next to the, uh, SA Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So overall, he scaled pretty well with other lightning collection figures. He scanned pretty well with other lightning collection figures. Also, he scanned somewhat pretty good with build. So let's dash well. So let's see, let's see how much he stands with freaking uh, Vegeta. Oh, he's some oh he oh he's somewhat taller. Well, it makes sense. I did not worry. My next review is going to be on this guy right here. So relax. Don't, don't worry about that. That's what I think. The figure is average for me. But overall, he's not a bad figure. If you like Time Force, then yeah, this guy is definitely a recommendation. But if you like the Sentai version, then yeah, I recommend you to go, I recommend you to go get him. He's pretty good. And I have a feeling that in the future they're gonna make they're gonna make the six other Time Force members. I'm still waiting for that day, Hasbro. So yeah, so overall this figure is a solid for me. Some of us, you know what I mean. He's average for the horrible paint jobs and for limited articulation, but he looks just like Time Force Ray from the actual show. So this, so this that. So so what did I say? He's a good figure. He, he has some bad parts, but it's my, again, my copy, but overall, he's a good figure. If you love Time Force, if you love Power Rangers or Super Sentai, then yeah, go buy this guy. He's at tar a freaking Target right now. No joke. My Target has this guy, so he's at Target. But I bought mine from Amazon when he first came out. So, <laughs> so yeah. I'll put my Instagram my Instagram in the description at Bokusatsu. Also, I'll put my Vimeo account in the description. Watch, go on there, watch my Kamen Rider dubs. I do Kamen Rider dubs on there. It makes an AMV, but you know what I mean. That's all I want to say. My name's Aaron, and I'm out. Peace.